Hello, I'm Mitch Hutz, and welcome to the Geek and Sundry Vloggers Critical It Cocktails Challenge. Let's meet our contestants. I'm Amy Dallin, and my drinks, like my heroes, pack a mean punch! My name is Neil McNeil, and I'm here to pour the competition. Hi, I'm Omar. I'm Mia. We're the two broke geeks. But we're not too broke to get you drunk. Akeem, kickball championship winner, never mind. We asked on the Twitter feed what game from E3 that people would like to see turned into a drink. Sunset Overdrive was the game of choice. Contestants will be competing in order to win... A Wolverine shirt featured in a few Geek and Sundry videos. Let's get started. I'm glad we went with the mason jar. That's a good beginning. Um, okay, well, sunset over... I think it should be... There's like a sunny, yellow, orange... Yeah. Yeah. I wish I had an energy drink to use for this, because that would be perfect, but... I'm not a Mitch Hutz here, but I'm I'm trying to do my best uh, Mitch Hutz, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to embody what Mitch Hutz uh, would do in a situation like this. Some kind of rum. Look at the way that sits. It sits very, very beautifully. The whiskey's on top. We should put a little cranberry juice in there then, too. Oh, there we go. Perfect. This is just my college side coming out. Please be orange. You're kind of orange. Red. I'm focusing on the blood of uh, the creatures. Okay. Tequila. Sunrise. Look at you. Tequila. Tequila. Sunset. This is going to be the fruitiest, fruitiest shot I've ever made, but that's to be expected. Now I'm going to shake, shake it. it creatively. Bartenders always do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's enough alcohol in this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, that doesn't taste like a very good drink. Dude, that is not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. So, Neil McNeil, please tell me the name of your drink and the inspiration behind it. This is the Triple Mohawk Shooter. It is inspired by the lead character's mohawk, his signature do. It also has triple sec in it and is for the shooter in all of us. Color is nice. It does resemble the hair mm -hmm. from the main character. I like the grenadine trickling down, like the blood from the from all the enemies. It's very smooth. It's a lot of juice, but uh, it's kind of smooth like the main character. My drink is a combination of everything that I learned from drinking in college, which is you don't want to taste the liquor, but you still want to get drunk enough to make out with a random stranger. Amy, would you please explain your drink and tell me the name? Well, I actually thought the game name was perfect for a drink, so this is the Sunset Overdrive. Uh, it is an overdrive because I added too much rum, and it was intended to be sunsetty uh, with a variety of different colors, but I don't quite know how to make them layer, so I'm hoping that the taste will provide the layered effect of this candy-colored, extremely fun drink. This one actually scares me because I saw how much rum you put in. It certainly does... Uh... It's an overdrive. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this would be this would cost a lot at a bar. Uh, I do like the theme of overdrive, and it's definitely a, a very very potent. I think that it's something that the main character would enjoy. He seems very over the top and and punk. Um, there, uh, there's a large mixture of different alcohols in that, and I, I also feel that kind of meets the theme. I am taking points off, however or you trying to create a layer and it blending together. Okay, that's fair. I watch his videos, but I've learned very little. Akeem, please present your drink and tell me the inspiration and name. So the name of my drink is the Sunset Whisker Drive, and the reason it's called the uh, Sunset Whisker Drive is because uh, it's uh, infused with whiskey, uh, but on top of that, uh, we, we got some uh, pineapple juice uh, to kind of represent the blood of the, uh, the zombified uh, individuals that were partaking in the energy drink. And on top of that, uh, we have some lemon juice to provide that sourness that blood is known for uh, tasting like. Okay, I, I, I like the color in this. I like that you took note of the zombie's blood being orange. It's very neat. And uh, the layering is also neat. I, um, I noticed that this is actually only half a shot. Even though these shot glasses are tall, they are a standard shot, they're just narrow. So, 
I will deduct points for your incomplete shot. I can definitely taste lemon juice. <laughs> the whiskey is definitely present, and I think it uh, mixes very strangely with the pineapple juice. Ugh, damn it! I can't believe that! What the hell? Mitch! Me and Omar, two broke geeks, please present and tell me about your drink. Ours is called the, uh, suns the, the uh, sorry, <laughs> Tequila Sunset Overdrive. <laughs> I thought you said it was called the Tequila Sunset Overload. Overload. Wait, no. That is what you said earlier. Oh, okay. But... That's what I said. And, uh, we're really happy about it because we wanted to get sort of like a gradient color scheme going here. Um, not just for the, uh, an homage to the Tequila Sunrise, but also the intensity of the game. It starts off sort of fun, and you get very invested in the characters, and you get invested in the world, and it gets more intense and sort of more potent. We also did the mutant blood versus human blood, and we tried to keep it like a fun, tart, fruity drink in line with that attitude of the trailer. I really like the name and the color of this drink. I like that you took inspiration from a classic cocktail, the uh, Tequila Sunrise and kind of made it into your own. I, uh, I like the ingredients that you use. You used pineapple juice, grundine, what, rum in triple sec? Or mm -hmm. uh, tequila, tequila, yeah. or triple tequila sec. in triple sec. Um, tequila and triple sec go very well together as well as, as pineapple, so let's see how. It's strong, but it has a good taste. Uh, the grenadine sinks to the bottom, so I imagine it would taste different as I go down. But overall, I like this. I'm like weirdly nervous. I didn't think I would be as invested in this as I am. I'm, I'm strangely invested. There can only be one winner, but in terms of creativity and sticking to the theme, I choose me and Omar's drink. Yes! Yes! Ah! yes. yes. Yeah! Theirs was so pretty. It was so pretty. How did they do that? I mean, I guess if anyone had to win, it should have been Mia and Omer, because that glass was the coolest thing in the world, but I'm sure my shot would f*** you up a little bit more. Well, of course, the two broke geeks won. I mean, the competition is taking place in where? What? Their house. Yes! He liked oh. it! I'm so I feel excited. so good. I feel so good. I'm so excited to wear this Wolverine shirt. Well, you're going to wear the Wolverine shirt? I'm wearing it. You already have one. No, but I need another one. Uh, well, Ryan, they wore this, so I'm going to wear it. <laughs> well, I clearly like Wolverine shirts, and I need a collection of them. I met Ryan Day last night for the I first time. I met so. Ryan Day last night for the first time. Ryan. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please, if you like this video, like and comment on it, and subscribe to Geek and Sundry Vlogs. A special congratulations to Mia and Omar, our winners. Cheers. <laughs> that was a legitimate reaction. <laughs> Good thing Black Spider-Man had his Black Spider-Man web to trap them. Black Spider-Man? I don't know. I just see this black stuff. I just assume it's like Black Spider-Man. No, no, webbing. you're right. Let's see who these guys really were. Yeah. I have the feeling one of them is responsible for overspicing the pizza. Absolutely. Let's find out. Zoinks! Thelma! Yeah, guys, it was, it was me. I